Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Artifacts YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create this cool fire text effect in Adobe After Effects. You will need the plugin uh, Red Giant uh, Effects Suite, which includes the Image Lounge. That's what we're going to be using to create the fractal fire. If you enjoy this tutorial, please hit that like button. It really helps the channel. Thank you so much for watching and let's jump right in and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new project. So we're just going to go to File, New new project and the next thing we're going to be doing is creating a composition so I'm just going to click on new composition I'm just going to leave the composition name comp1 but you can rename it to blue fire or title effect whatever you want um, and then keep it at standard 1920 by 1080 seven second duration and then just click OK the next thing we're going to do is create a background layer so just go to layer new solid I'm just going to rename this BG and then go to layer new solid. This is going to be our fire layer and we're going to keep the same settings and then just go to effect image lounge fractal fire. And as you can see, it creates this really cool fire effect and we're going to be uh, changing the preset to a blue fire. So if you come up here to presets and just change it to black to blue, you can see it creates this really cool blue fire effect, um, which is already animated, but we are going to create some keyframes to change the fire effect a little bit. So we're gonna change the velocity. And I kind of played around with the settings just to get the effect that I wanted for the text animation. So under velocity, we're gonna click the stopwatch and set it at 16, making sure that your time ruler is at the beginning of the time graph area, and then drag your time ruler all the way to the end of the time graph area and bring velocity down to 10. Now we're gonna bring our time ruler all the way back to the beginning and we are going to adjust the flame height. So we're gonna go ahead and select the, click the stopwatch on the flame height, bring the flame height down to zero. So that's at the beginning and then drag our time ruler to the end of the time graph area and then change the flame height to 60. The last thing we're gonna animate is the blend with original. So go ahead and click the stopwatch with for blend with original and bring it up to 100. And then we're just gonna move the time ruler just before one second and we're going to switch the blend with original to zero. So the fire is going to appear as the text comes into the frame. So it's going to create a really cool effect. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is add our text. So we're going to go to the text tool. And I'm just going to type in fire. And then I'm just going to, after I'm done uh, typing in the text, I'm going to switch over to my selection tool and just reposition this. So as you can see over here on the right hand side are our character settings. If you don't see them, just go to window and just make sure that the character has a check mark next to it. So as you can see, there's a couple different settings you can change. You can change your font. I'm just going to leave the font to this setting, um, but you can search different settings and see which text you like the best for this effect. And then the next thing we want to do is you can change, increase or decrease the size here. So as you can see, my text right now has no fill color and that's because I selected this little icon here, which you can select to hide or unhide the outline or the fill color. So I'm going to be using a text where I only have a white outline color and the fill color is going to be empty. So it brings out the fire background. So I'm just going to switch this back to no fill color and then I'm going to change my outline color to white. And you can actually set the stroke width. So obviously if I have it at a lower stroke width, you the outline is going to be very small. So what I'm going to do is change this to three. And I can also increase the height of my text or width of my text um, by changing these settings. So now what we're going to do is just add a glow effect. So I'm going to go to window and select effects and presets so that my effects and presets show up on the right hand side here. And I'm just going to select glow and I'm going to drag that into the fire text layer. 
and it just creates a little bit of a glow to the text and I'm just going to reposition this. The next thing we're going to do is change the mode. If you don't see your mode there, just go ahead and go down to your toggle switches and modes and your mode will appear. And we're going to be choosing the mode overlay. And by doing this, it's going to preserve the highlights and shadows in the underlying layer, which is our fire layer. So as you can see, it blends the text with the, the fire layer. And that's it. All we need to do is render our footage, which you can do by using the render queue or Adobe Media Encoder um, if you have that. So what you're going to do is go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. And I'm just going to choose QuickTime, so click on Output Module. And the format I'm going to pick is QuickTime and click OK and then just go ahead and click render. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more quick tips and tutorials.